Eterna. Morning, my lord. It's a warning, Sir Bogle. <coughs> morning. <clears throat> Colonel, if you'd come upstairs. I'm making breakfast, <sighs> if you'd like any. Absolutely. I'll join you all shortly. Hmm. <coughs> fish head. Good morning, Gunter. Good, good morning, Mr. Marcus. Are you fair today? Oh, I'm well, amazing. Can't complain. Mm, neither can I. You said you are cooking? <coughs> uh, uh, yes, <laughs> the usual. Mm. Okay, fish heads are the most nutritious part of the fish. Keep up the good work. Oh, yes, sir. As you come over to the desk, you'll see an array of letters on it. Some very crude handwriting, some of it better. None of them in scroll form, most on ragged parchment. <coughs> Everything okay? I take these things with a grain of salt, but I'm going to approach you about it anyway. Sure. How do you fare today? Well, I wish I could say better. Uh, Crenshaw has brought these to my attention. Interesting. But there are several complaints from some of the townsfolk how the collection of taxes took place. Well, I don't know. That's strange. Everyone paid. The only person that really had issues was Hopper. Well, I don't have any letters for Mr. Hopper. But some of the accusations was that then uh, apparent there was a bit of uncaringness towards a situation of either being unable to pay or <clears throat> those accompanying you, who I don't know who was with you, Treating this as some sort of joke. Hmm. That was... We were trying to keep it light-hearted. I mean, usually things are a bit more... You know. Which is probably the only reason I can assume he... <clears throat> asked me specifically is that... The guards were already in a bit of... Strife with it. Figured a change of things would be good, but... I guess not. <clears throat> when we are in a position like this, people look for any reason to complain or find a outlet for their displeasure with the current situation. Damned if I do. Even if you are... Yes. Even if you are completely innocent, the people that are either suffering or trying to make ends meet need someone to blame. Yes, I'm aware. <clears throat> We have to be very careful with how we operate amongst the townsfolk. Well, how do I handle that, then? It sounds like if I was too stern, I would have been told I was too stern. If I was too lax, I would have been told I was too lax. I don't think there was a win here. There is a way to navigate it politically. <clears throat> and that is keeping things short, brief, professional, stoic. There are people that think you were laughing at them because they couldn't afford it, or they had to pay up, or whatever it was. I like to think I know my son well enough that's not the case. Definitely not. But it's still words that will circulate. So the only information I've gotten out of this is on, that sir. Mr. Hopper has taken most of the <clears throat> rest of the day before his departure and had all of his beehives moved off of the vineyard estate. He threatened to I do so, I don't know yes. what he intends. Yes, well, he still lives on Redard land. I will speak with him myself when he returns. Yep. 
There is nothing to be said or done about it other than he must pay his taxes and his dues. We all must. Well, he definitely paid. The good news... Yes, well... Doesn't need to make an issue out of it either. No, I agree. The good news out of it is... Well, this has taken a bit of pressure off the dynasty. And some of the soldiers behind on pay have been paid. Do be mindful of your subordinates. Will do. I don't have anything else for you, my boy. <clears throat> I'm still looking into this list you gave me. Yeah, that's a bit, isn't there? Pardon me, my lords. I have some information you asked me to look into. I thought I'd give you my findings. <clears throat> Excellent. Based off my observations and study working with the clinical staff within the keep, searching through the scribes, I'm afraid it is what we feared, my lord. Are you sure of this? Indefinitely. Based off rumors and whispers and the examination of the body carefully, by myself included. That's the only explanation. No wonder we didn't recognize it. God. <clears throat> this, this far west. I know, it's very peculiar. I've never even heard of this type of incident taking place, nor how they even got here. I don't think either of us are aware as to what could have happened to push them this far, but fact remains, they've been pushed this far. I'm a little lost here. There was a carcass that was brought to my attention the other day. A beast of sorts. <clears throat> Myself and Sir Halstead thought it to be familiar, but we wouldn't show why or how. Good day. And I was looking to see if Kyla was in. The townsfolk referred to them as Satan. Not something that we've ever heard of or seen before in our lives. Not terribly, but... Except we have. Back in the East, three kingdoms. More prevalent in Gewin than Astagon's deserts, there were things called Cloven Ones. Think of them as massive men with the heads of goats and the feet of hooves. Horrendous things that traveled in hordes and burnt entire keeps and populations to the ground fed on the people. Worse than orcs, their infestations are massive. If there was one thing about the Three Kingdoms, I would say that was its lowest point. It's that there was a constant war in the forest. Uh, Sir Brooker. Oh. <clears throat> Mr. Thessalo is downstairs uh, waiting for the young lord. Ah, breakfast is okay. <laughs> I shall not keep you any further. We can discuss this later. Sure. Is this like a, uh, oh shit, be on our guard battle stations kind of thing, or? Uh, no, not, not, not you. that sphere, I don't think. Oh, sorry. You're cutting my son. Not you, Brooker, get out. <laughs> <laughs> not you. <laughs> um. Spoken about later. I'll see what Vizra needs and I'll come. Discuss this more shortly. I have to. Hey, Vess. 
Hello. Kyla? Everything okay? Um, yes, I just had to stop by and, um, I wanted to, um, give you and your father some parting things. I don't imagine he would be around as well. He's upstairs, actually. I actually have something for you, too. Oh, really? Yes, I was uh, scared Lord. I'd miss you. Head on upstairs, I'll follow after oh. you. <clears throat> actually, can you hold Kat? Sure. Oh. Oh dear, um... A child, hmm. <clears throat> Red hair, you know it as Rose Kid. I think there's someone at the door, Tiberius, if you don't mind. My lord? <clears throat> yes, child. your father seems to have dived into his study. He just stepped Ah, I see. It's, it's, the child is far hmm. later than you would have expected. Give me a moment. It almost feels... It was through the window. Fragile. Through the wall? <clears throat> what do I do now? Well, you gotta take responsibility, I guess. What does it mean that they smell? Are they infected? Um, Something <clears throat> like Yo, no, no, not like that. Well, you're holding it, so you got to deal with it, Bez. It's true. And I'll, the child glances at you, eyes open. It's very quiet for a moment. It goes wide, wider and wider. And even as you pass it over, its head turns to you as they're trying to get a good look. Its face starts to scrunch up, almost in a look of disgust. And uh, the expression is confusing. And then it burps. And looks very satisfied with herself. <clears throat> I mean, she likes you. Probably. Is that so? Maybe. Huh. Um, Apologies, right. Lord. There is a Lord Rito outside wishing to do business for the blacksmith. Tell him I'll be right out. By the way. Han just stepped out, but... <clears throat> oh, I see. Well, in that case, um... Would you mind terribly? I'd like to give it to him myself, but... Um... <clears throat> I worry that there will be time. I'll keep it on me, and... <laughs> If you get the chance to give it to him yourself before you leave, grab me and I'll give it to you. If not, I'll give it to him. How about that? Sure, sounds <clears> good. <throat> um, it's just a box with um a few spices and ingredients from Kiwin, as um well as a few um of those rolled up um tobacco things that they make. Mm. <clears throat> a cigar, I think, is what they call them. Yes. You'll love it. <laughs> Thank you, Vesford. I hope so. <clears throat> and, um... Oh, and there's also some Gigwin rum in there as well. I, I hope that you all are able to share in this and that it, um... Reminds those of home who've lost it and gives some who have yet to see it maybe a little perspective on the place. Those look quite very bad. thoughtful of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow. On a less thoughtful but more practical note, this is for you. Oh, that's usually the case. <clears throat> <laughs> it's a leather bracer. <laughs> Looks good. Well made. It is well made. Oh, there's one thing I've forgotten. If you look here, you can find a perfectly concealed steel dagger. That's the best kind of gift. <laughs> <laughs> A 
that's quite the dagger. That's amazing. It's completely flush with the armor, so you can't even tell it's in there until um, <clears throat> you pull it out. Marcus, they are waving daggers right over a baby <laughs> on the table. Your unknown parental instincts kick in. I have a gift for you, too. <clears throat> it's not... Not the baby, right? Well, uh... Take her, then. <laughs> I, I told Ro I would teach right. that child how to handle knives from an early age. <clears throat> oh god, please. Not <laughs> it's not as, um, practical, but it's... Uh, the Lord just got there a is a um, small a wooden box with a, with a little hinge on it. For a dagger. <clears throat> and as you lift oh, the hinge, okay. on the inside is a small... Very useful. Pillow like thing. It's mostly just cloth. Resting on top of that is what looks to be just an old feather. On closer inspection, you realize it's a quill. A quill from a long, if you don't long mind, time ago. Get on with One that you made mm. for Kyla just before delving into the depths of Ledford. Thank on the so. underside of the box lid says. Your second best student, carved into the wood, and all the ease are backwards. I know you did that on purpose. I, I hope you did it on purpose. Yes. <laughs> yes, that time it was. <clears throat> Just something to remember as well. <laughs> Thank you, Kyla. Of course. It means a lot. treasure it always I can't believe you kept the damn thing all this time well it used to be in my boot and then every time we moved I just gonna one of the few gifts per someone actually gave me so I just kind of <laughs> kept it and then didn't realize what I'd use it for it probably doesn't work but <laughs> <clears throat> I appreciate it nonetheless but the gift wasn't the quill, you know. The gift was the knowledge to make quills. Which I hope I, you remembered how. I definitely remember. <sighs> I would use that one as reference right. every time I had to, so I, I, I should be okay, but... <laughs> anyway, I have work to well, attend to. Do catch me before you leave, know. okay? If you can. I will. Right. <clears throat> I'll try and get that on if you don't get the chance. Very well. Take care, Lord Edhard. Till we see each other again. And you, Mirren. Where do I send correspondence? Your father has a way to reach me. Okay. Which is you, sure. him, and the two others in town I've given a discreet means of contacting me okay <clears throat> then I'll do my best to keep in contact if I don't see you before you leave it's been a pleasure what's the rule on vacation the pleasure's all mine keep it vague <laughs> uh, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah just keep it vague <laughs> well good <clears throat> Tyler, as you step outside regarding the working area, you spy an older hobbit with a servant nearby. You've heard the name Nalarito uh, mentioned among the oh, courts uh, and the you. nobility of Nautis. Hmm. No One who does not yeah. care much for sure attending to the courts himself, really but do does do. involve himself quite heavily in the oh, scribery cool. and the more mundane aspects of noble responsibility, particularly where the war was concerned, is generally viewed favorably by both the nobility and the peasantry as a kindly old hobbit. This is also the same name that you were recently <clears throat> informed of by a certain elven huntress. Ah. Uh, oh, you must be... <clears throat> Excuse these old bones. <clears throat> you must be young Lord Erhard, am I correct? 
Yes, I apologize for the delay. Hmm. Such a cute child. I haven't seen a, a babe in quite some time. <laughs> How can I help you today? Yes. You see, I'm a bit of a hobbyist. And one of the things that I partake in are my tools are in need of quite a lot of repair. If you'd be able to assist, I work in taxidermy. Oh. A noble art. <clears throat> yes, I am hoping that upon looking at my poor, poor excuse of an equipment at the moment, you'd be able to uh, see if you'd be able to assist me. Of course. I'll have a quick look. Shouldn't be too much. I don't know what you need for taxidermy, but... Uh... I assume it's a lot of sharp <laughs> objects and sewing needles and bits and bobs. Yes. Tyler, looking inside the container, you see several tools that you would not have expected. You see calipers, scalpels, scissors, uh, several things that you would often associate with uh, surgical work. A lot of them bear striking resemblance to the tools that you have made and maintained for so much. <clears throat> More to the point, all of them look very, very heavily used, worn over time, but there's signs that they were well taken care of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is absolutely within my wheelhouse. I've done similar things to this in the past, actually. It shouldn't take more than a day. Is that so? Tomorrow morning should be done. Perfect. Very well. Do make sure that... They're the ones that look like clams. If you can, please make sure you take extra good care of those. Absolutely. <clears throat> the tool that the nobleman points out to you, Kyler, you've never actually seen its like before. It's very strange. It's like a set of clamps, but with a wide uh, end, as though used for gripping and pulling. He mentioned tucking. To you, it almost looks like a miniaturized torture tool. It's very confusing. I it's must also say, I'm... small droplets and stains adorning many of the tools that look to you like dried blood. Fascinated with the idea of taxidermy. I've always kind of looked at it with interest. I will go through these and so? guess what they're used for, and then you can tell me tomorrow. Because... <laughs> I'm very interested. I see. <clears throat> a nice little quiz then. How wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. I'd love us to talk more this. about craft like this. Let me, let Thank me keep you. you. Oh, how much will it be? Might as well pay for it first. Uh, to be fair, it's mainly just repairs and between you and me, and I haven't had much time in the forge, so we'll call it a favor. How kind of you. <clears throat> of course. Us lords have to stick together after all, right? No. I do need to know to a T. It will be done by tomorrow? Yes. <sighs> I'm currently working on a very wonderful specimen. And it would be a shame to be... How do I put this? Lackluster in my abilities to get... Things done. Ah, we can't have that. I will definitely start work on this as soon as I can. Rest assured, tomorrow morning. Thank you. Of course. My lord. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I think you're a lot better than what a lot of the other nobility have been claiming upon you. <sighs> Truthfully, my lord, I just try my best to get along with everyone, and some people don't like that, which is understandable. They're lost, then. You flatter me. Enjoy your day, my lord. I'll see <laughs> you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Yes, I'll see you tomorrow morning. <sighs> well, that brightened up my own. It's a lot faster <clears throat> than what any of the... Kids shouldn't be outside. Mm. Work. Be able to get 
an easy commission, Kyla? I mean... Lorelai's words do stick in the back of your own. mind. Yes. Lorelai <clears throat> is bad news, but he was amicable, if nothing else. Right. Whether you choose to pursue this or not is up to you. But an opportunity may present itself, should you wish to. Interesting commission. You know, been told by Lorelei. Yeah. What do we do? Pretend to be their friend. I think. <clears throat> oh boy. Not on the dinner table now that I think about it. <laughs> Alright, I've done this once or twice. Have you done this before? Done what? Oh. Um. No. I can't be the only one smelling that. Or is your nose blasted from yesterday? <laughs> Rolling. I. <laughs> Listen, I took the hit yesterday. Marcus with, <laughs> Marcus with the two, your nose is blasted. <sighs> Basil showed me once. Uh, well. Venora showed me once. Mm. This sh should be a simple task of. And then should be a, a no-brainer, yeah. Right. <clears throat> that sounds right. Um. <laughs> Can you hold this? Uh, yeah, that's the soiled one. <laughs> Go burn this. As long as there's nothing on the child, it should be fine. Right? There you go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, now you're smiling. Alright. What do you think of this? Like, do you think I could, like, go about my day with a... <laughs> a, a baby carrier? Drop it down here and let it steam for a bit. <laughs> In the basement? No, it's a bit with no airflow? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, you. We need to put you somewhere so we can go about my day. <clears throat> Maybe I could find Miss Basil. <sighs> you know what? Let's have a quick walk around. <clears throat> All right, I've disposed of it. Now the child? Looking for Basil. I'm gonna hand her off or something. If she's around. Yeah. If only there were, like, an orphanage in this place. I wouldn't trust orphanages in... Gradio. Oh, geez, yeah. Maybe. Been to a few of them. Right. some fake papers that let them up there so someone who's uh so someone's uh now got gigori fucking after them i bet because that's not great for them i bet yeah. having that on their name uh, but uh, how uh, is like just gregory and i was clarifying oh, bundles or actual single arrows and he went how many are in the bundle I forget how big all you tall folks. Everything is. <laughs> My Lord Dertheit, what can I get for you this morning? Um, Miss Basil, ideally, if she's around. If not, I, uh, that's okay. <clears throat> um, good morning. 
She came in to uh, fix Good the morning. stew and then uh, said she had business to tend to. That's I'm sure fine. she'll be here soon enough. I'll find her when I find her. No stress. Uh, but I have... Just let her know that the little package is... Like that child in your inventory, you know? Oh. Just let her know the that the, the is, is uh... inside my house, and if she wants to grab it, she can. Mm-hmm. Little package is at Lord Dagheart's house, but if she wants it, she can grab it. Yep. Well, <clears throat> they has it. All right. Did you, uh, get up here and find anything new? No, sorry. I've been busy. I will let you know, though. All right, now we deposit course, the baby. Thank you very much for your visit, my lord. <clears throat> <laughs> thank you. Oh, there she is. Wield weaponry. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Okay, there we go. What do you mean you have to wield weaponry? It's going to be a challenge. If there's a baby in one hand and a weapon in the other. You're not holding the baby. Oh. Morning, Basil. Hey, Basil. Speaking of the, the baby, is it, is it okay for you to be taking her out like this? I, I've been... She needs fresh air, Basil. Gonna be okay. I, I know, and I, I usually bring her out when no one's around. Yeah, children aren't really seen or heard on the streets of Nada, so... No, that's, yeah. that's, no that's not the point. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Did you say no to a face like this? Careful, please. Oh, don't do that to me. That's, She's that's not fair. freshly changed. I... I... I saw him do it, it's true. It worked. You know, you actually did everything right on this, too. See? Anyway, I, 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 I was coming to let you know that I'm leaving her in the house. If you want to grab her, you know how to grab her. And the <laughs> guy at the tavern will probably tell you the same thing. <clears throat> okay. Well, periodically, if it's allowed, I will be popping by into the house to take care of her, okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> you just we keep your door you unlocked. Like you did last night. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. I'm gonna put it down. Thank you. Thanks, Basil. You're welcome. Regardless, I think I need to go to the camp and make sure he's not fucking around with my shit. Good luck, Dredge. <clears throat> you already just fancy. Good morning, Ocho. Good morning, Tyler Erdhart. My oh, you friend. Now. Where's my hug at? I'm going to hug my friend, Marcus. I'm trying to make it more awkward every time. Huh? I'm just making. Where'd she go? Oh, no, I fucked up and jumped. <laughs> I was gonna do this. My lord, good to see you. Good to see you. Kyle, we have important things to do. You shouldn't be carrying around a bag of shit. <laughs> no, on, oh, the baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a baby. You had a fucking sling on. Can I come? No. Am I invited this time? You are not. Or is it Lord stuff? <clears throat> Sounds like Lord stuff. I'll catch up Did with you, you after that. Am I not? I talked over him. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> come on, Aka. We're gonna go do big boy things. We're not. Have you held it yet? Don't worry, I got rid of that thing that you were holding. <laughs> Great. Uh. So it's outside for me. I don't know what you're looking at. I'm it's holding gone it. outside. Oh, yes. what the it, fuck? It's been burned. Why? <laughs> I've already dealt with it. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> Most of the early morning nonsense is dealt with. Okay, good. Very good. <coughs> What 
Sal said was speaking to me about is of great concern. <clears throat> it's not a small issue either. We weren't sure what these things were. When the the only thing the Tones folk could tell us in our inquiries was they called them Satan men. Men with hooves. We had inklings of what it might have been, especially after Sir Halstead put his head together with myself. But the thing that was in that cart was small, it was man-sized. Which is why we didn't put it together. Youth, perhaps? Perhaps. Mm. But if so, we have never seen them. Not like that. So either <clears throat> we have never seen their offspring before, or this is new. I don't know which one it may be. The body, after being closely looked at, looked like horns were beginning to grow from the forehead. A lot of the teeth had become fangs. But otherwise, other than the hooves, it was the body of a man. Atrocious in nature. So a demon of some kind? Or? Not quite. <sighs> They're called cloven ones, back home. They roam in large hordes throughout the forests, preying on smaller settlements. They eat flesh, same as orcs, and worse. They do not leave settlements behind. They have a hatred for those who walk and talk as we do. Especially humanity. For whatever reason, they were not expanding towards the Eshma borders. <clears throat> they stayed within the realms of the three. Mostly Giwen and its neighbors. The Sands were spared and Astagon for the most part. And so were the snowfalls of Leodor. But it was a constant struggle. When I say that these things are monstrous, there are minotaurs that are the size of these buildings. It would take great regiments of pikemen to deal with. There were creatures larger than those that would hurl boulders <clears throat> and make walls crumble. It took combined efforts. It was a constant struggle to quell. I became a natural part of life. Some of the forests in Gwyn were so deep that we had never tried to go far into them. The valleys were just old, old forest. Any patrols that were sent or any outliers that were brave enough to try and look into them were never seen again and never came back. It was safer to cordon and off and garrison keeps and keep regiments nearby. They were cycled as part of their training as levies. Any incursions that were attempted were stopped cold in their tracks. But whenever any of those keeps were breached, it was monstrous. And it was a kingdom-wide <coughs> affair. So when Sir Halstead brought this forth, the idea of a cloven one being this far west I don't know what to make of it, and I am terribly afraid of it, or its implications. Raises the question as to how it got here. You said they didn't really care too much for Edgemith or Loss. Exactly. The mountains are by ship, right? The only thing I could think of is... These arenas do crazy things and import beasts from other parts of Azera to fight in their coliseums and their arenas. Perhaps it escaped. I don't know. How smart are these things? Smarter than orcs, or...? It's hard to gauge. Hmm. They know how to set ambushes. Right. They know how to <clears throat> use their sense of smell. And they most certainly know how to use human prey letting the injured wander out into the open, hoping those will come and help them, and then springing their traps. They're very similar to orcs in that fashion, but they are far less... fearful. They'll wade into a line of pikes if it just means killing. The horrendous things. Hmm. 
Last thing we needed. I don't think there'll be a threat here, but I am concerned as to how one made it here. And the only thing I can think of was someone must have captured it and imported it as sport. <clears throat> I suppose it's not unheard of. Especially with... I mean... <clears throat> It's basically what Arca was, wasn't it? We got a creature to be put in the arena. And we had those orcs the other time as well, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Gonna try My lord. I... Yes. I like to be more cautious in these matters, if you would permit it. They said they were killed, I believe, uh, near the embassy forest, correct? If we're permitted, correct. I could take a small cavalry unit, do some investigations now and then, just to keep an eye out on things, make sure it is an isolated incident, as you say. Here's a problem. The other aspect I haven't brought up yet is I spoke to the Major about this issue at once. He says that one of their Inquisitors has more information, but they are unwilling to divulge it. <clears throat> Which is problematic and worrisome. So I don't know if this is something larger or not. I would advise you to speak to the Lady Heidemann and get her to speak to Van Pelt. I can do that. How much are we telling her about this? Be very careful if you choose to patrol. Enough for her to do what she needs to do and get you in the same room as Pelt. How much are we telling him? Just that one was spotted and... He's part of the aristocracy. He doesn't care much for the Empire's doings, to my understanding. He's a <clears> hunter <throat> above all else. Perhaps this will be a way to turn his attention towards a mutual threat. And maybe we'll get some information out of it to help us protect ourselves. That war needs to get done. And fast. Trying. Need supplies. That's the biggest issue. And our supplier of stone just went off on some sort of adventure to a fucking monastery. Hmm. We'll figure it out. There's the quarry if they can figure that out. I think... Rumor only. Don't know how much of this is abated, but... Apparently, Markle's already stuck his dick in the quarry, and now he has a claim to it. I don't know how or why, but if that's the case, it'll be good for us and good for the dynasty. But him mm. not being here doesn't really facilitate anything for us. Right. I'll save those questions for when he returns. <clears throat> What about that threat and issue? That's all I have. <clears throat> so keep your ears to the ground. If you hear anything, bring it back. Will do. I'll try and talk to Lardier and Van Pelt. Good. Good luck today. I'm, uh, I'm leaving the kid down here, so if you hear it crying, maybe do something about it, if you feel up to it. Put them upstairs in my study. <laughs> We'll do. <sighs> Alright, you two. When you do these patrols, take that QRF unit that we trained up. They're a little bit better than just standard horse soldiers that we have. If they're not preoccupied, hmm. of course. <clears throat> oh, my lord. I'm gonna drop this package off and then I'm gonna find Ladio. If you would like, my lord, I couldn't wait until you speak to Lady Heidemann say the least. More information before I act. Give me more direction instead of wandering through the woods. Sure. Give me a second. If you want to come with me, then that works. By your willing. If there are orcs with nets, <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Be honest. Take a few 
few individuals to join me on this. Keep an eye on things. Some people are being constructed. Have you held her yet? I'll look after them. Yes, I have. We need to start putting ourselves first. Do you understand me? <clears throat> I do. We need to stop getting involved in everyone else's problems. We need to start doing things that benefit ourselves and our mission. Yeah. Truthfully, I'm tired of bleeding for other people. And then have them forget it as soon as it becomes convenient to them. <coughs> My priority at the moment is I'm going to be putting together a house guard. <coughs> New faces, people that we can trust who will answer to us and us alone. Think of them as an act. That is the current issue, isn't it? <coughs> I don't trust anyone in Nardis. <sighs> Our ship remains docked, doesn't it? Off to the side, so we can't keep those mercs. I have had Crenshaw make outings over there and given them their pay. They are content to eat, sleep, and shit off the side of the ship as long <clears> as they are receiving gold. Well, that's handy. <clears throat> Until we have a captain, it's staying moored. Yes. The second aspect of what I'm looking to do is to get an influx of silver into the Radard's coffers, and in order to do so, expansion. Those things I saw out in the sands. The swaths of land. I'm afraid they know. Think of the map. Of the province. <clears throat> you have Belano. Everything in between is unsettled. I think we should establish two more villages. Both on the outskirts and within the Sabine. And I think that these villages should be those who are eager to stake their claim. And get industry rolling. We have no wood coming in and no woodcutters. We need more farmers, more farmland. The soil in the Sabine is fertile. The trees, though. And we need more of a population to conscript. What about the trees? <coughs> True. Orcs? That's the biggest threat. Mm. Don't know what to make of it. They have not moved. We've seen their numbers grow. But we have to. Mm. Yes, I was told the number given was thousands. Galil and a few of his elves have been trying to keep track of them entering from the north. There's a passageway, apparently. <clears throat> we could Likely across the Vernfolder Mountains. station a group there or something to s plug the flow. The only issue would be that every orc that's already come through, they'd be surrounded. Yes, they would. And we could plug one way through the mountains and they'll find another. The problem with Van Fall, the sealing its gates, is that they no longer patrol the overways. Every manner of creature and monster is able to come and go as it pleases. <sighs> Great. The world's in a state of shit, my son, and we need to get a hold of this province. <clears throat> if we can establish a village out there and grow it to a town, we can start building our own estate there. Separate ourselves from Nodis. Separate our personal politics from the region's politics. It'll be safer that way. You think the barons would be okay with this? Kovaz gave most of his... With everything I've done for them, I think so. Mm. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing simple about that, Marcus. Hopefully. Let me put it this way. There are nobles who did nothing that were granted the fiefs of Tellor Keep. Yes, I heard. And the other castle <coughs> that's in the woods. 
over us. We are owed. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. <clears throat> if we build it ourselves from the ground up and already have our own house guard established and guide that particular town to a bit of prosperity. Because understand, the nobles of Belano and Cassetto, they get a cut of the income of the people there. They have a personal tax, and then the lords there pay their tithe to the barons. The nobles do well for themselves. Now we will rule justly and fairly, unlike our peers. And it'll be a little bit more difficult for us but we're smart. We'll find a way to make up for those deficits. I worry that... But no matter how little it is, it's more than we get now. Yes. I worry about, um... That lord that made his way over from Coracatus. He mentioned specifically to... <laughs> stop being such a jumpy upstart. Then that means we got in the way of someone who belongs to him. Yes. <clears throat> I'll have to figure out who that is. It's between two people I can think of. Both of which are lords, which would have connections. I don't know which, though. Could be either of them. I've had Crenshaw looking into it a bit. We find <clears throat> out who... We find out who they are, and we deal with them appropriately, whether diplomatically, politically. Wish we could eat like a family again. We'll hit them with such a political fallout yeah. that their masters will have to separate ties with them. Since the t times of truth. It's a real shame if one of these nobles were seen to be Vapex sympathizers. One of them did threaten to put their resources towards the Vapex. That was the one I had Marcus and I threaten with treason. Then those ties are probably there and don't need to be fabricated. Hmm. But we're neither here nor there. One thing at a time, right. You take care of what you must today and so will I. Alright. You know where to find me. I'll be around. Of course. Oh. To my understanding, Mirandel will be leaving for good soon. I have a bad feeling about it. I'm gonna gather a handful of people just so we can shadow him until he makes it to the border. I'm assuming you'll come with. Absolutely. Call me when you need me. Good. I shall. <clears throat> Get on out of here. I am leave. Is that a jar of rogue energy? It was a jar of wax. Mm, delicious. But, you know, whatever works. Blood orange. Goes down smooth. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Tiberius and I will try and get a meeting with Van Pelt. If you want to stay in the area in case something goes wrong. <clears throat> Should I just go with you? <laughs> if you want, I don't want it to seem like we're, uh, you know, interrogating the man. <clears throat> then I'll stay out of my armor. Less intimidating. <laughs> it's not intimidating. <laughs> Knights do it then to them. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
Morning. Morning. Morning. Hey, I've already said morning to you, Angus. I know. We had an awkward conversation earlier, so I'm revamping. A lot of mornings being thrown around. Morning, my lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're having a lovely day. Okay. Better now that you're here. Kyla? Lord Edhart, that is? Yes. Uh, did you have a chance to, um, deliver that package? Not yet. You haven't left yet. Fair enough. <clears throat> All right. I'll probably go and collect it for the next time I've seen it. And if I don't, it'll be back on the table. Yep. I'll hang on to it. Morning, you two. Morning, Lady Heidemann. Morning. I was wondering if I could speak to you in private. You don't, you don't have to, you may. Where do you wish to speak? Here or somewhere else? Anywhere is fine. I wouldn't recommend here, as there are <clears throat> hooded individuals that love to listen in on things. Very well. Mm. My house. You feeling okay? Will you accompany me? At least to the door. I didn't eat in today. So I'm feeling... Have you eaten today? He has. Good. Yes, some. That is what is around now. Just can't taste anything. You're not sick, are you? No, just in crippling debt. To whom? I've never been in debt before. To the dynasty. What do you think? I see. <clears throat> do you really think they just let him pay it? <laughs> With your intelligent mind, as they go, you can invent a way out of it. Invent gaslight. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, we okay. need help. Yeah. Um, in what uh, world? Uh, that's a good idea. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Goodbye, Greta. Oh, no, don't stop. <sighs> wait outside. This won't be long. Yes, Lord. I'll keep it brief. I was hoping we could schedule a meeting with Van Pelt, if you could line that up. I can write him. That would be wonderful. I know a few people that go out and see him on his ventures. <clears throat> but he can only stay out in the wild for so long before he needs victuals prepared by the Imperium. Mm. Currently, he doesn't like the Imperium much at all right now. Really? Mm-mm. Well, not in the traitor sort of way, but in the way that there are inquisitors and they make him very angry and opinionated and it will get him killed. I see. We wanted to uh, talk to him about something that came into town the other day. A little worrying. Might need his expertise on it. If you could, I don't know if you can summon him, but if you could write to him and request him, that would be handy. I'm guessing this is the hooved creature with the horns. Yes. Like I was told in secret about not yeah. to spill information out. That's the one. Thank, <clears throat> thank you, Faye. Not to spill. Oh. Yes, I can see about doing something. All I know is from word of mouth, they're extremely dangerous and are about overbearing in terms of orc strength. So don't get in a fist fight. I don't get in fist fights normally. But yes, we've done a little research ourselves too, and I was hoping we could compare notes with Van Pelt, see if we can figure out a way to see if there's any more in the area or whatnot. More than likely they are. Great. And that would mean he's very busy. Separate note, I have use of Van Pelt as well. I need to write him 
It has to be about Sarkozy. I'm planning a gala, an art event, at the vineyard. Sarkozy needs money. I have a lady in the keep, the Radod keep, named Lady Melik, who loves fine arts and other such craft. Sarkozy, I have a feeling, won't deny a approach from the Lady Melik. A sponsorship offer to bring nobles and poets and musicians from far and wide to come down to the vineyard and display their prowess. Not only would this give you a chance for snooping, but also gives me a chance to figure out things on my own. I have confirmation it was Kovaz in a blue hood with 30 of the pecs who killed his father. Unfortunately, we need proof. Yes. And those Sarkozy men who are accompanying a lord who is in debt, why would the Vipex send an indebted man to his estate? It's almost as if they have nothing to lose by losing him. Well, apparently the Vipex have bailed out Sarkozy's debt as of a couple of days ago. So they believe in him in some way. The Lord needs money still. Oh, he's probably already in debt again. So we'll keep him on a tithe. Oh yes, most definitely. The Inquisitor told me <clears> that last night. He's very much in debt. <laughs> it's why he's young and owns a vineyard and no other estate. Okay. The plan is, if we can't learn anything from this arts event in a week from now or three days, I'm not sure when she plans to do it. We'll have Van Pelt wait on the outskirts to shoot down a bird. He doesn't miss, and we might gain some intelligence. Critical intelligence. That's a last resort. I'd rather we find something first while we're there. You're hoping to find something that can prove Kovaz was involved in his father's murder? <clears throat> I want to poke and prod to see if the Sarkozy men would be willing to spill the beans for a price. It's a little... Of course I don't actually intend to pay them. They'll be executed <laughs> by the dynasty. <clears throat> Not very subtle. The issue, Ladia, is... I believe Arn spoke of this. What happens when we bring this to the barons? The entire dynasty will be split in the half. The will be at the arts festival. If we can find absolute undeniable proof I already planned this a month ago I was going to out Kovaz and I know his schemes. He needs to be put on the chopping block to make a mistake again. <sighs> Failing that, we find something at the vineyard that day or night. And then inform him. <clears throat> the lords and ladies, unfortunately, a lot of them are in Kovaz's pockets. It doesn't matter if we have proof or whatnot, mm. it will split the entirety of the Radar dynasty. A civil war we can't have it right now. will definitely split. Especially the Royal Guard, which we have of what, 50 of in the Radar keep? Something like that. Unless we can get another 500. If we do this, the Vapex will seize the opportunity and march their fucking way in. If we find evidence of the Vapex murdering Nautis's only dynasty lord, Jul'dar, at the time of his passing, do you think the Vapex have any sway with any of the other outlying factions? The other dynasties? They are inland. We have a port. We control the majority of trade, and they have a bridge that they have to pay on their dynasty to use. They also have they like the rest pay. of the Imperial faction up there, the supported good ones. Which is why I think very soon, in order to stop a confederation, a split down the middle of the Rodard forces, someone's going to be have to come back with the convincing of Mephu. 
I see. That is a... <laughs> that's a fucking you were play. right in the beginning. It was a play you intended to do, as I recall. However, after much deliberation and you listening to your father... You spoke ill of it, but you are on the right track. Adasco has 500 still standing fighting men, 300 shock troopers, 200 irregulars, roughly. If those are brought back, there will be no secession from Kogaz, no. If proof can be given to Adasco, given to Amim, given to Mefu, Adasco will listen to Mefu. I know he will. I'm all for getting more information. I'm all for getting proof. How we use it. I think this needs to be talked about further. But I agree, getting proof would be only then beneficial. Once we have the proof, we talk about it amongst ourselves. Decide the best course of action. The plans in motion to try and get Cove Adasco back have already spun. Exter's been sent off. He's dead. Walking a tight rope here, Lydia. I'm walking a very tight rope. The same rope you were walking when you went to visit him to gauge the man decide whether or not it would be best to trust the man. Trust? No, we cannot trust him personally. But I know someone who can put absolute trust in him. <clears throat> he's not loyal to us, but he is definitely loyal to Matthew. The voice that said as such confirmed it as they confirmed Kovaz to be the one behind the assassination. He was tasked with guarding Mefu in the young boys. Tasked. And under his watch, Kovaz slipped out. Something he really didn't wish to believe. And the Pex joked about it. The man is loyal to the province, more specifically loyal to Mefu, and sees himself as a father figure. He just needs to be shown the truth. If he's shown the truth of who's behind the assassination, he will follow his best friend's heir, Amem. And if Amem doesn't want him? Amem will see his brother's treason. He will then understand what Adasco did what he did. It is a justified act. He was not being disloyal to the province, Phyla. He's being disloyal to Amem. Before he left, he was going to poison them both. But because he loved them so much, he sent himself away. And he's a good he man. <sighs> yes, just as we are good individuals. For sparing so many when it is so easily to silence problems. Have you considered that he might be playing you, playing us? He's incredibly charismatic, I don't deny that. Adasco, no. I was in the meeting that I wasn't supposed to be in, hiding behind bookshelves when I saw the white in his eyes. The shaky hands he had. The anger in his voice toward the Vapex. The disbelief in ghostly white, pale skin. When the accusation of Kovaz was brought up. I was never discovered. This is not a play. And we have word of mouth that Kovaz did it. Just no one to witness it. That are alive, anyway. We get the evidence, and then we talk about how we need to use it. 
one thing at a time. Agreed. And it's sitting in the vineyard. Let's focus on Sarkozy. I'll send a letter to Van Pelt. See what I can gauge. Hmm. If you... I know he has a few people that run things out to him. It shouldn't be a day or so. Okay. If you can bring him here, that would be very handy. Very well. I will attend the meeting once I bring him. Thank you, Laria. Do rest some. Mm, that wouldn't do it all for me today. If I rest, I won't get up again. I'd end up like Mefu. There's work to be done. Thoughts? Very, very dangerous game. Yes. <laughs> My thoughts, exactly. In my opinion, it seems your father has been pressing to give a man nothing but truths, <clears throat> loyalty and trust. To my concern, this might contradict what he has been doing if we act in such a way without his knowledge. I do a lot of acting without other people's knowledge quite a bit, and it benefits us most of the time. But I'll definitely tell Arn about this. <clears throat> I don't think telling them right away say. is the right thing to do. It will cause a split, something that we can't have. Agreed. It will have to be subtle, very subtle. <clears throat> Moves will have to be made to try to ensure that his supporters do not immediately move to assist, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It has to be a defining single action in order to avoid a civil war. That means identifying his supporters. If it because isn't I'll be obvious. honest, my lord. If the Baron Kovaz has this connection with the Vapex already, and if he has any whiff of this sort of investigation. Who's to say that when he has the Vipex swoop in to get him out, and then a civil war spikes for him to take his rightful place as the Baron of Nautilus. Exactly. I agree. But I do think we only stand to gain by getting information and proof. Once we have that, we can figure out our options. Agreed? Agreed. Just a matter of caution and act. Yes. Weighing the risks, to say the least. <clears throat> I'll definitely bring this up with my father when I can. Um. Uh. Nola Rizla. Riz. Uh, fuck. I'm blanking her name. You know the one I'm talking about? I have no idea who you're speaking of right now. Lorelei. Right. She mentioned that you had a bit more information on it. Yes. Uh, she was speaking of the Lord in question, correct? Yes. <clears throat> she has been investigating, to say the least. Well, Lorelai had confided in me in some information of this individual she had been attempting to look into. <sighs> This lord in question is a extremely disturbed individual. Hunting people for Evil sports. In one way, so from what I heard. Not just that. Apparently, he takes his winnings, so to speak, and makes them <clears throat> to taxidermy trophies to stand as pride of trophies. Yes, he dropped off his taxidermy tools this morning to me to, uh, fix. I played dumb and said I would, to try and get in good, so that we might use it later. Hmm. Well, if I'm being honest, my lord, it'd be best if we tried to keep away from this as much as possible. 
No offense, we can't afford any bad relations with any lords right now, <clears throat> but information can be gathered and passed, is what I would recommend. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Lorelei asked me to try and find some proof or something in his home. I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about that. Well, it could be when you return his goods. That could be an ample opportunity. DM note. Player characters. If you said yes to me this morning, please move to the Arena VC and make your way off the streets. Oh, I'm moving. Uh, can you guys let him know I'll be there after he's done talking to me? Thank you. We've been, uh, the people that said yes have been moved, just so you're aware. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, the only issue about me dropping this stuff off there and trying to find proof is that it's very obvious who found the proof. Well, you don't need a subluxious proof, more like a guide, so to speak. A hint to the next thing they're looking forward. <clears throat> the odds of you getting evidence of a sort of amount, short amount of time and, uh, well, no offense. Expectations are extremely high for something like this. If you can more or less guide them, I would say it would be appropriate to the next step. I see. I had tried to push for them to move by the law more than anything else. They were... a thought to cross their mind to maybe take vengeance for themselves. Uh, most cases not, it would not end well. At least from my experiences. I've... like... I've like snuck up into the keep, into the throne room before no one's seen me, is my yeah. thing. You know, what if I just had a look around? Marcus? So how's it? Marcus? Hey. Who would you advise well, against that? You wouldn't necessarily. I personally don't see the, why you would risk it, to be honest. It's a very guarded space with the Royal Guard and most of the garrison there now. It's unnecessary. Is that where he lives? <laughs> but... It could be one of the many places. I wouldn't know exactly where he lives or operates. You would have to do this in a place where not many could uh, interfere, to say the <clears> least. <throat> okay, well, first thing is finding where he lives. I suppose I could do that when I drop off his... I know he's coming to pick them up. Well, you could en encourage to walk with him, talk about uh, business. Out of anyone in this household, you could have a, an impression to maybe able to be made. Find out where he lives, move on from there. Small moves. All right, I'll do that. Exactly. Hmm. <sighs> but the risks are high, to say the least, for this individual. And dangerous. Yes. <clears throat> Arms mentioned that we should be more focusing on ourselves a bit more. We spend um, a lot of time bleeding for other people. I can understand where the Lord is coming from, to be honest. Can. But in the end of the day, you are your own man and you'll make your own decisions. I don't like always being there for people always willing to fight and bleed and die for them, only to have them forget it when it becomes inconvenient to them. There's no real loyalty there. Spend a hundred days being the best person I can and protecting these people. One day comes along where I have to do something that I don't even want to do that doesn't benefit them, and they forget everything else. Happens all the time. 
Also, I'm afraid that is the trials of dealing with populace, to say the least. We got reprimanded this morning for how we handled the taxes yesterday. Wait, what? How? We were too jovial about it. People thought we were making fun of other people, apparently. But truthfully, this is a damned if I do, damned if I don't moment. If I was more stern, people right. would have said I came down too hard. So... I don't know. I thought we handled it pretty well. We got everyone to pay. Yeah, and we weren't threatened or threatening them, so... I mean... No. People took this opportunity. You see what I mean? Well, of course they did. That's exactly what I mean, Tiberius. One step forward, two steps back. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid it will be a constant dance, I'm afraid, my lord, in the near future, as we deal with these things. To be individuals, that will be worth, I would guess, be the best way to put it, your investment of time. As horrible it is to say. People now you know you can trust to help you with certain situations and others, <clears throat> you would know they would not. It's the balance I have been doing, or at least trying to. If I'm honest, the Wood Elves are a very... The word I would use is... I would say radicalized. In the ways. I would say be cautious when dealing with them, especially the recent threats we had to deal with. Which ones? Oh, when we had the uh, Lady Venora here. Huh. Yep. Yeah, that's a case in point, too. The amount of times we rushed to their aid. With no one rushing to ours? Hi. I'm here. What do I do? Uh, Sorry, the, I'm more in case in to to point is them rushing to kill us. Would be more appropriate. Mm. They were yeah, even worse. Threatening to break in and such. I believe even they made suggestions of even capturing yourself, which were extremely inappropriate, in my opinion. Yeah. These are the people that we've rushed to defend dozens of times without question. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> How best do we remind them that kindness is not to be taken for weakness? Stop being kind. Mm. It is a method, yes, that could prove decisive, but damaging in relations in the long run, if you need to keep relations, so to speak. If these people are threatening to kidnap me, then relations aren't exactly as good as we originally thought. Then they haven't been on the rise in the first place. <laughs> yes. Fair. Very fair. Well, we can only go up from here then. No, no. we could get much worse. I've, I've said that several times oh. and it's... not been the case. <laughs> God. If anything, he's probably just jinxed us now. Thanks, Marcus. Also, we'll have a horde of elves break in thinking that uh, Venora has yeah, been captured welcome. once That's more. I, I mean, the rise to power can't be this easy, right? <sighs> I'm not even trying to rise to power, I'm just trying to... T just trying to live, man. I don't know. Well... <sighs> for now... I think you're on the right path, my lord. 
but the dealings of people are always going to wave on troubling times and decisions make. Do remember when things are at their worst is when the worst people come out. just tiring my players if you said yes please make your way to the player spawn room at this time that's why it's important to get uh what is it apple teenies in once in a while <laughs> and leave that way until someone shows up and says the lord's yeah. being um i have to attend this thing in my bedroom and disappear mm-hmm so, good luck, you two. Mm. So, thank you, Lord. Best of luck. Now we'll go get the Appletinis while he's not around. I knew it! I knew it! I fucking knew it! <laughs> Sort of five, five seven days a week. 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 Seven days a are we making fun of Hydra? If you are people who have volunteered, what would have happened at this moment, I am utilizing you as NPCs as your characters. We're giving Mirandel what I spoke about, okay? <clears throat> Arn would have gathered a majority of you and told you he is concerned about Mirandel's movement to the border, and if there was any time to try and take him out, it would be now. Everybody that is here would have been asked to come with him and to ensure that Thessalor makes it to the border. When I tell you to, you're going to spawn in, and we will instantly be entering combat. There will be injuries, there'll be people who need help, and Thessalor will be heavily outnumbered. How it plays out is how it plays out. Obviously, we'll have a healer. Okay? Are there any questions? Are we, are we going on? Are we going on foot? No, sir. I guess we'll find out, won't you? Yes, we all went on <laughs> foot. To be careful. Question. What do you want, so so? The thing? Huh? <laughs> the thing? <laughs> the, the other thing? I mean, yeah, okay. This fucking freaking nature—they have something on their avatar. It's not something you'll react to in character. Is to let DMs know. That they're experiencing something, all right? So when you see their eyes fucking glowing, that is for oh, DMs to know that they're in a bit of a uh, She's got situation in the head. <laughs> okay, so I don't want anybody going, oh, the eyes! You don't see that. Um, That's understood. a function. Would the Imperials let me go? I'm going to need an escort. Like, they're not going to let me go anywhere. Yes. Like, in character. You're allowed to okay. go. You can bring Ludwig with okay, you. Okay, okay. Let me see. I'm, I'm, school, I'm wearing red. We got permission. Do me a favor. Yeah. Go get Ludwig. Bring him here. You got it. <laughs>